You look like a big, fat, white sausage. <laughs> you can show me what you feed him. Feed him what's left over from the Indian from last night. But he likes naan breads best. I can't stand by and watch this fat dog eating Indian food. I'm going to take it away. I'm sorry, Gizmo. I'm sorry. That's it, baby. Finished. Gizmo's love affair with Indian cuisine is about to come to an end. Next up, Victoria needs to check out Gizmo's exercise regime. Giz, Giz, come on. While the other five dogs love going for walks with Ron, for Gizmo, it's all a bit too much like hard work. Can't get walkies. Come on in. Clever boy. Clever boy. Come on. Come, Giz. Giz. Gizmo. Gizmo. He just won't walk and because he's just got no go and, and all the other dogs want to go and play and Gizmo just doesn't partake. Yeah. If I was that fat, I would find it very difficult to play with the other dogs as well. Poor dog. Carol is oblivious to the extent of the problem, so Victoria's brought along vet Mark to tell her exactly how much Gizmo weighs. Now, uh, normal for a chihuahua of his age is between one and three kilos. And this the is your weighing time. moment of truth. So he's 5.1 kilos, so we're two to three times his suggested body weight. God. So we've got a problem on our hands that we need to deal with as soon as possible. How will his weight affect his life expectancy? Unfortunately, because of his weight, because of his lifestyle, um, and because of his lack of exercise, eight years old now, he's probably not looking at more than living till 11 or 12 years old. So I think today's the time to, uh, to start doing something about it. Yeah. Yeah. The first thing in Victoria's weight loss plan is addressing the dog's diet. She suspects the chubby chihuahua is chomping more than his fair share. Do you know how much Gizmo should be eating a day? I don't know exactly, but not very much. No. This is how much dry dog food he should be eating a day. Mm. Oh dear. Split into two meals. Hey, are you joking? <laughs> But it's not just the quantity of food, it's the quality too. Gizmo's beloved takeaways contain high levels of fat, salt and sugar. This gooey, yucky, disgusting mess is going in to your dog's stomach. Gizmo's favourite after-dinner treat is also high on Victoria's hit list. Have you heard of theobromine? No. Theobromine is a chemical in chocolate. Why is theobromine bad? Well, we humans can process it, but dogs can't. They have a different biological makeup to us and they can't process it. If a dog has too much chocolate, the heart rate increases, the breathing rate increases, the heart begins to pump faster and faster, and then eventually the dog will start to fit. Then basically it's too late. Seven and a half grams of chocolate is a toxic dose. And this is what seven and a half grams of dark chocolate is. Only that. Right. Take a look at this. This is a real dog coffin. And I filled it with chocolate. Bottom line, if you keep feeding your dog like you do, your dog will die. That's it, curtains. Bye, Gizmo. So I have here a special doggy treadmill. And this is going to be good because you can exercise your dog in all weathers um, and we can build the exercise up very slowly. Put a lead on him, put him on the treadmill and we'll start very slowly, see what he does. Gizzy is getting a pro on this treadmill now. Look at this, Gizzy on the treadmill with no one there. He's getting a pro at it. Such a clever doggy, isn't he? But how is Carol doing on the diet plan? Right, we've just finished our curry. Mum's in the lounge with the after eggs. And we're going to see if she's going to cheat and give Gizzy any. Not cheating there, Mum, are you? Oh, right, Amelia. Oh, no, I'm not cheating. Well done. It's 20 weeks into Victoria's weight loss programme, and she wants to see who's been healthy eating and who's been cheating. It's Gizmo, starting weight 5.1 kilos. 
Had they stuck to the regime, Gizmo should now be 3.71 kilos. So how's he done? And he's four kilos. He's four kilos? He's four kilos, exactly. That's, would you say, would you say that that's pretty good? I'd say that's excellent progress, yeah. Very good. Really good. Carol is employing all the old tricks to slim Gizmo down for the final weigh-in, just five weeks away. That's about it. That's all he's allowed, bless him. Isn't it, little man? Eh? That's all you're allowed, isn't it? And we put it in there, and it looks like a big meal. Look at that, eh? She gives her champ a daily pep talk. This is a proper, controlled, healthy, living, new gizmo, full of energy diet. Hey, yes, new way of life. And then it's back on the treadmill, pounding those paws. I think Victoria would be well chuffed with him. The moment of truth. Vet marks poised with the dreaded scales. Gizmo was the curry king whose love of chocolate saw his weight balloon to 5.1 kilos. Quality straight for a quality dog. One year on, has he reached his target weight of 3.71 kilos? Gizmo weighs 3.4 kilograms. <laughs> Gizmo's owners are feeling jubilant. Really pleased for Gizmo, he's great, he's such a fit little dog and we've probably put three or four years on his life. Gizzy's looking really good. Everyone says he's lost those away. Mum's done well. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.